So today I'm going to show you how to get unlimited saves in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now this is only for the PC. Um, I'm pretty much just going to show you how to download the mod. You know what I mean? But like it's a really important mod and I think everyone needs it because I've seen so much people garden about it. So like what you want to do is you want to make yourself an account on Nexus Mods. So go ahead, do that, get yourself sorted out. It's not, it can be a bit difficult but like you'll get there so get that sorted out first you need to have an account before you can get any mods so that's our there so uh we'll go ahead we'll go to unlimited saves uh, there's quite a few nice wee mods at the minute there's not much but i'm just going to show you how to do this All right so then we're going to go like two options here one with schnapps and one without there's no point in, i honestly i don't see the point in having the schnapps version at all so um, i'm just going to go for no schnapps so manual download yeah and we'll just close that uh open this up so now what we want to do is i've already made a folder for my nexus mods so well for my kingdom come to different so you save it i think maybe on desktop be honest with you just somewhere easy but i've got my own wee folder for mods so let me just go down and get that it is where are you kingdom come mods there we go okay and um, yeah, because I've already got it on that, but I deleted it. Anyway, so that's all well and good. Now what you want to do is you want to go and find where you just um, extracted the folder to. So mine is here. Um, I would recommend putting it on your desktop just to make life easy. So from here, uh, where are you? I'm going to save. So from here, you want to copy that or call it whatever. Save better than. And then you want to find, you want to go to your, normally it's on your C drive, wherever. Oh, I know. Sorry, I'm on my data drive. You want to find your Steam folder. So you do. Go to Steam. And then Steam Apps. So like keep keep a track on up there. Steam Apps. And then you want to go to Common. And then from there you want to find Kingdom Come Deliverance. Alright. So there we are there. Right, and then in here all you gotta do is go to data. And then I'm not even joking just paste that's it so easy you've got no idea the amount of issues i've had with downloading mods in the past but like i'll show you it working here so let me just open up steam kingdom come to evidence just to show you that like you know that is it it's not a difficult process getting mods for a kingdom come to evidence same with the uh, same with uh, Total War. Total War, I find it dead easy. So I have to get mods. Right. And save game. Right. There you go. Save without snaps. Um, I do have some snaps, and of course, I've got a load of mods. But anyway, um, that's it. Easy as anything. Nothing too much. Um, honestly, I would highly recommend getting that. I just think it's so much easier to play the game being able to save whenever. I know a lot of people are really enjoying the challenge and all that, but like, see, whenever you've only, like, at the start, whenever you only start playing this game and you've only got, like, you need a lockpick something and you've only got one because they're very expensive, trust me, you're going to want to have that save and not want to have to waste your snaps because they're hard to come by. Anyway, like, I hope this sweet tutorial helped whoever this ended up watching it. Um, yeah, enjoy. Cheers. Um, like, subscribe, and I might just suck your deck. So, you know, that's a thing. Definitely.